Thought you couldn't What? speak their language. <laughs> Scared me. <laughs> it's an ancient Egyptian dialect. I mean, like the rest of their culture, it's evolved completely independently. But uh, once you know the vowels, just answer the question. Well, um, well, I mean, you just—I just had to learn how to pronounce it. I mean, it hasn't been a living, spoken language in more than 1,000 years. I mean, look at this. It says uh, a traveler from distant stars escaped from a dying world, looking for a way to extend his own life. His body decaying and weak, he couldn't prevent his own demise. Apparently, his whole species was becoming extinct. So he traveled or searched the galaxies, looking for a way to cheat death. And uh, look here, he came to a world rich with life. Where he encountered a primitive race, humans, <laughs> a species which, with all his powers and knowledge, he could maintain indefinitely. He realized within a human body he had a chance for a new life. Now, he apparently found a young boy. It says, as the frightened villagers ran, night became day. Curious and without fear, he walked towards the light. Ra took him and possessed his body, like some kind of a parasite looking for a host. And inhabiting this human form, he appointed himself ruler. He used the Stargate to bring thousands of people here to this planet as workers for the mines, just like the one we saw. This mineral is clearly the building block of all his technology. With this, he can sustain eternal life. Now. Something happened. Where is it? Back on Earth, a rebellion or uprising, and the Stargate was buried there. Fearful of a rebellion here, Ra outlawed reading and writing. He didn't want the people to remember the truth. marking himself. What? Ancient warriors would mark themselves with the blood of their kill. It's a rite of passage. It's just starting to make sense. The hieroglyphs are a little difficult to make out. But this story is all here. Thousands of years ago, these hunters found a backwater planet. They taught humans how to build and were worshipped as gods. Every hundred years, the gods would return. And when they did, they would expect a sacrifice. Humans were used to breed the ultimate prey. The hunters would battle with these great serpents to prove themselves worthy to carry the mark. Hunters lost, they made sure nothing survived. An entire civilization wiped out overnight. So, the humanoids, the hunters, they brought those creatures here to hunt? And they use us like cattle. We're hosts for them to breed in. The heat bloom was designed to lure us down here. This whole thing was a trap. Without us, there could be no hunt. 
Prologue, The Monomyth, Myth and Dream Myths have persisted everywhere and always, shaping human culture. They arise spontaneously from the psyche and cannot be controlled. The study of mythology draws on archaeology, ethnology, orientalism, folk psychology and psychoanalysis, which has shown that the heroes and deeds of myths live on in modern times, and that each person has their own private pantheon of dreams.